Ricky Real Deal Wallace. Well, the real deal is certainly the real deal. This guy has been on a tear, 7-0. And, oh, and in the days leading up to tonight's bout, Ricky Wallace spoke confidently about what will happen tonight. Um, I think the fight come March 12th against Emmett Kaneshiro, he's going to pick his poison. Um, I'll beat him anywhere the fight goes. I'll beat him on the ground. I'll beat him on my feet. And I'll, I'll cardio with him, you know, if he wants to grind it out in a five round war, I'll beat him there. Or I'll knock him off, he stands with me, if he takes me to the ground, I'll ground and pound him into a submission. Ricky Wallace hasn't lost since August of 2008 when he lost to Ed Novalo. Seven matches in a row, let's meet him. In the blue corner, weighing in at 146 pounds. From Team New Breed Jiu-Jitsu and Next Level MMA, from Portland, Oregon, this Jiu-Jitsu fighter has a record of 15 wins and seven losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Ibn Kaneshiro! And in the red corner, weighing in at 145 pounds, from Team Ultimate Fight School, out of Hawaii Kai, Hawaii. This Jiu-Jitsu fighter has a record of 10 wins, three losses. Ricky Real Deal Wallace! And as we take a look at the tail of the tape between these two fighters, Kaneshiro, a black belt Jiu-Jitsu master. Ricky Wallace, uh, Six of those victories, six of those tens have been by submissions. Both guys are exciting fighters. Um, you got to give probably the stand-up edge to Ricky, but the ground, you got to give it to Eben King Kaneshiro. King Kaneshiro, born in Kauai, now making his home in Portland, Oregon. I say one of the best beards in MMA. Yeah. <laughs> born on getting out of control. Let's see if this fight gets out of control. Well, living up in Portland, you got to have a beer like that. Yeah. He clinches. Yep. Kaneshiro wants to lock up early. Smart game plan. Wants to get his fight to the ground where his strength is. But Ricky Wallace has got a great takedown defense. He's able to control the pace of the fight and where the fight goes. This is not going to be an easy task. Wallace, the 145-pound world champion, won that title against Alvin Kakdak in the September 11th Heroes match last year as Kaneshiro just climbing up top of his back. He's got his hooks in. He's got to be worried about him spiking on the head. It's like Paul Bunyan climbing a tree. <laughs> He's going to try to control that wrist, use the fence to keep himself up, pull him over, hopefully over his head, and then he can kind of peel him off the back. In addition to being a great um, jiu-jitsu player, he actually competes a lot in jiu-jitsu as well. So, um, you know, he's definitely a top-tier jiu-jitsu player, not just a, a black belt that's, you know, good at the grappling game. He's great in competition as well and transfers into the MMA. Yeah, he's fought like six times on Kauai. He always competes in the Kauai cage matches over there. He has defeated locals like Brandon Piper, Justin Mercado, and David Padilla. Kind of known on the, on the Valley Isle. There's that Gardner. little spike thing um, as he came down. Now he's going to transition to an arm bar. Which is protecting an arm. And we're trying to go either for Kimura or straight arm bar right here. And so what can Ricky Wallace do to negate this right now? He's actually doing a good job keeping the, the leg down. He wants to kind of put his knee, if possible, on that left leg kind of keep the, the movement of Evan kind of controlled. Oh, rolled him right over. Goes to a triangle. It's actually a reverse triangle from the back. And now he has the option of going back to his arm. Here's the arm. Good job, Eric is spinning. But he's kind of hanging on. I was going to try to look for that thumb to straighten that arm. Ricky's actually in a good position right here. Well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps his head down above that leg above that knee so he can't step back over for that triangle. Nice escape. Yeah, beautiful escape by Ricky Wallace. 
Look to have his arm really tied up, and now it is Wallace now in a commanding position. Might be hurt, he's kind of curling up here. One thing that I saw in some of the videotape of Kaneshiro is that he doesn't take strikes too well. He was covering up there, but uh, I'm sure some of those punches got in. Nice wild punches by uh, Kaneshiro. He's nice and crisp with his punches. He doesn't throw too many like feeder punches out there. When Ricky throws, he throws a knockout. Nope. Wallace has had five submissions by chokes. Certainly the choke artist out there. He goes for the knockout first, he says, but he does a lot of joint locks. He knows joint locks very, very well. So he's getting through. You don't want Ricky to get his range on you. Oh, nice oh, right hand. Oh, that's another right hand. Whoa, that came off the cage there. It's kind of Shiro dialed in some right hands, and that certainly put Wallace on the defensive. Think about Ricky's when he gets hurt. Oh, he stays in the pocket and fires back, so you can't just stand there and hit him. Kanashiro certainly pressing the action here against the kid from Hawaii Kai. Spinning back fist. Doesn't find its mark. A trademark of Kanashiro. He was in his last fight, the win by Kale. Yep, Matt Camo did it over on Kawhi. Another Where's spinning it? back. Didn't find its mark. Oh, and Wallace tries to, oh, oh the big knee. And that might have hurt Wallace. Now Wallace is hanging on. But if you want to doubt Ricky Wallace's toughness, all you have to look is to that cactac fight where Wallace broke his nose in the first round and still came up with a victory as Wallace lands another left. Oh! Oh! oh he lands it clean! It's down! It's down! Wallace is down! And he's... There's still time left, Bob? Unless the... What happened there? There's still up time left on the clock. Above our heads, it says it's still about 45 seconds, There's 50 seconds left. Was that five minutes? Why is there, why is there on the clock? Why is there time on the clock? We need to find out if there's an error when they started. When, when Wallace went down and Steve Miramoto came in there Check that Chris West came up there to break up the fight. There was still 40 seconds left to go in the fight. Here comes the spinning back fist. Or maybe that might have already happened. Here it comes. Nice right hands and landing. Ricky's firing back. Well, it just wasn't, yeah, it wasn't queued up to the right spot. But I want to know that the horn sounded, and we looked up, both Mike and Zuka looked up here at the clock over here at the Blaisdell, and it had 45 seconds left to go. The horn sounded, and I, in, in my own estimation, I thought that was a quick five minutes. Well, in fact, we had 45 seconds left. That was a huge opportunity for Eben. Certainly worked out for Ricky Wallace in a tough break, if that was the case, for Evan Kaneshiro. We've seen Ricky oh, oh, nice oh. God, what a big left hand. As now Kaneshiro swinging for the fences now. And Wallace better get a grip here and kind of clear the cobwebs because Kaneshiro's just bringing it. That was bringing back, and that was an elbow and a big cut over the eye of Ricky Wallace now. Boy, that is a nasty gash. Anybody have seen Ricky Wallace fights before? No, he's been tagged like this before. He's come back. Well, we talked about the cactac fight. He broke his nose in the first round and still won that fight. Spinning back fists are flying at the place now. And a big right hand. Oh. It's probably the most back fist ever in MMA history right here. 
Both guys are just laying on the line. Wallace is a bloody mess on his left side. Nice push kick by Wallace. Ricky's in phenomenal shape. See, he's getting stronger. Looks like Evans kind of fading a little bit. Nice body shots. Big deep breath there by Evan kind of Cheryl. Boy, you don't question Ricky Wallace's cardio as he hits him. Nice high kick, finds his mark on the top of Kaneshiro's head. Oh, they wanted to do both spinning back fist. Oh, oh, a spinning kick to the gut. What a phenomenal fight. Two warriors out there. Ooh, oh, nice that over shot. Down. Wallace is on it. He's going in for the kill. And Chris is well said that is enough. Wallace retains the belt. Wow, what a fight. It ends by ref stoppage in the second round in what was a historic fight here in Honolulu, the most spinning back fist, I think, in MMA history. You can never count Ricky Wallace out. He always comes in in incredible shape. He always has the puncher's chance because he throws such straight, powerful punches there. Let's take a, a look movie. at the highlights. Where do we begin? You can see, it looks like Evan was so aggressive with those punches, he just had nothing half in his gas tank. Nice spinning <laughs> kick right there. Talked about blood sport earlier. I'm not sure if I had pull one of those guys off. Kanashiro thought he was coming with a bit of a spinning back fist. It was a spinning kick to the gut. And let's see the knockout. Oh, nice the big shot. left. And Kanashiro just had enough. That's high quality stand up right there. The, the head is covered up, go to the body. Well, what we really want to know is what happened there in the first round when Kanashiro seemingly put Ricky Wallace on the deck. And by our estimation here at ringside, there was 45 seconds left to go in the first round, but the buzzer sound, and Chris West, when he's heard the buzzer sound, he called the end of the round. Let's hear the official announcement. Wow, what a battle. Definitely two warriors in the ring. We do have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. In the red corner, from Ultimate Fight School, from Hawaii Kai, and still, the X1 world title, Ricky Real Deal Wallace! Winner, via TKO, two minutes, one second, into the second round. So we're here with the champ, Ricky Wallace. If anybody has watched a Ricky Wallace fight, they know when you're hurt, never count you out. How badly hurt were you at the end of the first round? Uh, actually, I wasn't really hurt. He just kind of caught me, like, you know, in the exchange. And I mean, I was buzzing a little bit back and forth, but not no, nowhere where, you know, I was unconscious. I could still keep on fighting, you know? And yeah, the bell rang, so go back to my corner, recompose myself, and come out fighting the second round. You knew you were basically facing a jiu-jitsu black belt. His strength was the ground. Did you actually put an extra time on your take on defense in preparation for this fight? Uh, no, I wrote black belts all the time, you know. I just uh, put myself in that situation, you know. They say jiu-jitsu, and if I choose to roll with him, he can catch me. But if I choose, you know, to do something else, I believe my strength and cardio will um, keep, keep my body in doing what I want to do. You're definitely a cardio machine. Now you got the X1 title. What's next for Ricky Wallace? Uh, I don't know, I got, um, you know, uh, uh, offers in different organizations, but we see how X1 is, you know, I like funny at home, and I'm just gonna go home, you know, heal, heal my brain, and see what's next after that. Congratulations again, hell of a performance by both you and Evan Kaneshiro, congratulations. I'd like to thank all my sponsors, um, GNC, uh, Zestron, uh, Limits Hot Yoga, and Hawaiian Fight Gear, thank you very much.